Hello, my name is James. It is, according to the calendar, Wednesday the 9th of February of 2022. I had top surgery two days ago on the 7th. Um, yeah, this video, I'm going to be talking about it. I'm not going to edit this video, so it's just going to be straight up me just talking about it. Um, I'm thirsty, and I don't want to get up to get water. Because <laughs> moving around is difficult, because, uh, tr there's a warning for blood. Um, so look away, if you don't want to see that. Um, I have drains on the side to get rid of fluids from the sides of my body. Um, the blood is no longer on screen, so you can look back if you want. Um, I have to wear this compression vest post-surgery to keep the swelling down. And just to hold everything in there, I guess, so I don't disturb the stitches. I'm not supposed to lift my hands up too high, um, or bend in weird ways. I have to sleep sitting up, which has been surprisingly comfortable with the mountain of stuffed animals. I've been able to sleep well. I don't know where my glasses are, so I look a bit weird, but yeah, I don't know where my glasses are. Um, there's some of the marker. You see some of the marker? It's left over from, uh, when the surgeon drew on me. He was very particular about making sure it looks as symmetrical as possible. It made lots of marks all over my chest. Um, oh yeah, I should probably talk about the, the process. So I made a previous video complaining about all the drama about me trying to get top surgery because insurance kept saying yes and no and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but then eventually I, I managed to uh, get Neil, Dr. Neil Morris as a surgeon and he, in December, he told me that he wouldn't do surgery on me, even though I was already there, because, um, I hadn't been off of testosterone for two weeks, and apparently that's, like, it's, it's a really outdated requirement to go off of testosterone, and I wasn't aware of it, so the surgery had to be delayed until, like, two days ago, um, where I, t I stopped taking testosterone extra time ahead of time, just so he wouldn't be able to, you know, deny me again. There, there isn't really a medical reason for stopping testosterone before treatment, um, but it's just a preference certain surgeons have, and it's quite annoying. Um, especially when they don't tell you about it beforehand. Another thing I didn't like about that facility is, I guess it's because it said, because I haven't changed my birth sex on any documentation yet, but they kept referring to me as she, her, and my dead name, which was quite annoying. Um, my dead name, I can kind of understand if they, if I didn't tell them my name is James, but, like, I'm literally there to get my titties off. Why are you referring to me as female. That it was really frustrating. Um, so anyways, you know, I, I, I went, I went in, I signed some paperwork that said I consented to everything. And then, um, the fan just turned back on. That's annoying. Anyways, I, you know, I went in, they gave me the hospital gown, uh, gave me some, I think antibiotics to eat. I mean, swallow. Yeah, I think it was antibiotics, I can't remember. They also gave me a little anti-nausea patch on the back of my neck, which I have since taken off, but there's still, like, glue residue on there. Um, and then, uh, you know, they put an IV in, and the doctor came, he drew on my chest, and then I went, lied down on the back on the bed, because you have to be standing up when the doctor draws on your chest. And, um, then I was knocked out, it was like a power nap, and then I wake up, and I'm wearing this vest, and I have drains, and, uh... I think it was a nurse or a doctor, so, somebody who was there, not the surgeon, um, showed me how to empty the drain. So basically what you want to do, uh, there's another warning for blood. Uh, I, I'll let you know when it's no longer on screen. But so basically there's this little thingy on top that you can like unhook and you take that out and then you pour this into like a little cup uh, and, then, um, and then you squeeze it because so that creates suction and it'll suck the fluids back into there. The blood is no longer on screen, but I'm going to continue talking about it a bit. And so one of my partners, Max, has been helping me out a lot with this because um, they don't want me to do it on my own for some reason. I don't know. Uh, not that I'm complaining. And and basically just pour it into a little cup that they gave from the... I don't, I don't have one nearby, but they... It's in the, it's in the other room. Uh, and they gave me some of those and I have to write down every time I empty them how what the measurement of it was, um, like how much fluid and blood there was. And so yeah, I've been doing that. What else should I talk about? 
it's annoying not being able to get stuff uh, by myself sometimes because usually I'm used to getting stuff off the top shelf because I'm kind of tall um, so I have to rely on other people for getting th things for me and I can't pick up things I can pick up small things like my laptop or my iPad or something but like a lot of things I just can't pick up uh, which is annoying um, but I'm not gonna hurt myself so I uh, and the drains are annoying I don't like having them but you know they'll be gone on like Monday I, I think I have a post-op appointment on Monday, and I got a calendar behind there, pointy, boop, boop, calendar behind there, on the wall. I have two calendars on the wall, actually. I, I have many calendars. I have ADHD. That's why I have many calendars. There's a lot of whiteboards on the wall as well. This is why I usually like try to script my videos, because otherwise I'll get distracted. What am, what am I talking about? Um, I'm going to try to stretch this video out a bit longer, just so I can like try to get more information out there. Um... I got double incision top surgery with no nipple grafts. Um, I'm going to be adding this video to my transition playlist, will be, which will be in the description if you want to watch more videos of the playlist. And um, uh, probably in the future, I'll be showing a chest reveal. I can't take this off yet. I can't take off the compression vest yet, but I will be showing my chest in a future video. Um, I haven't bathed or showered since Sunday. Sunday I took a shower. And since then, I actually, I'm actually not that dirty because I haven't really been moving around much or doing anything, but um, yeah, I, I think my hair's gotten greasy. Yeah, my hair feels a bit greasy. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. If anyone has any more co questions, like if you have questions about anything, just comment it on this video and I'll try to address it in future videos. There you go.